Hey, hey, and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how you can make a simple pricing page for your website. If you haven't already, please don't forget to hit subscribe and let's get on with it. So today we're going to be using Sketch app, using a high definition artboard provided to us by Sketch. Just changing the background color to a really light gray so that we can then have a white header with some shadow. So I'm going to go ahead and create that header nav and just change our background color slightly so it pops off the page and change our height to 90. So there's our navbar done, essentially the layout. We're just gonna add some shadows to it now. And here's a logo that I prepared earlier just for a fictional company called Sasta. You can add in whatever you like. And I'm just gonna use boxes here for each of the menu link items that's gonna appear in this navbar. So I'm gonna set the width to 130 so that they space nicely. 20 pixels away from the logo. Now I'm going to use a uh, Montserrat font here with a baseline font size of 14. So I'm just going to go ahead and align that in the middle of the box. Now all we're going to do is copy, paste and repeat this a few times over. So in this example we're going to use a link for features, pricing, and contact. Now I'm going to change the opacity of the non-active links to about 60, and then change the weight of the active one to medium. Now just to make it clear that that's the page we're on, I'm also going to add a funky little circle underneath of it that matches our primary purple that we're using here. And pop that about 15 pixels underneath of that pricing word there just to give users the idea that that's the page they're on. So that's how our menu link's done. What I'd like to have over on the right hand side here is a box that allows people to sign up for a free trial. So you can see that the logo is about 40 pixels out from the left. So we're gonna also make sure that this button is 40 pixels out from the right. I'm gonna use a rounded rectangle, make the width 120, and the height 34. And I've just copied and pasted one of these menu links so that the font stays the same. I also want to make sure that the color is matching our primary purple. I'm going to change the writing here to free trial and just make sure that's centered alignly and pop it in the group and then put it 40 pixels out as I was saying. I do want it to come off the page a little bit so I'm going to add a very minor shadow of purple. And there's our nav done as you can see this is what we've got so far. Now I'm going to pop in the main text that appears on the page. Hoping to grab the user's attention and get them to so Just really quickly do that, you can add in whatever text you like as well. I'm going to put this 50 pixels from the map bar just so it's got enough breathing room and it's quite readable to use it. I'm going to add a description text as well that's just going to be uh, a tad smaller. And again, you can just add in whatever you want here. I'm going to put it uh, 5 pixels away from the head. Now we're going to get started on the cards. I'm going to have three cards with a radius of six pixels with a very slight border and a white background so that it pops off the page again. If I don't really like that border, I'm going to make it a little bit lighter. That should do it. So what I'm going to have in the first line is called Starter. Now I'm going to have this in the, the brand purple. Just so it's looking consistent and I'm going to align that in page. And then next up I want to have the price. Now I want this to be prominent to the user. I'm going to increase the size of it. I'm going to put it in the black as well. So I think that's looking pretty good. I'm going to divide the card now into sections about what each element of the plan gives the user. So I'm going to use these boxes to keep the distance consistent between each of them. Given I have a border, I do need to reduce the width of the box by two so that it doesn't go over the top of the border. So now I'm just going to put each of these items in. I'm going to make a template and simply copy and paste it. I don't want it to be fully black like the other one, so I'm just going to reduce the opacity and really quickly copy and paste out here. I won't bother showing you the process of that. Now I'm going to have a button down the bottom where you can sign up. I don't need any borders and I want to make it a fully rounded rectangle similar to our free trial button in our brand purple. At the moment, I'm just going to 
envelope. So if you're on the bottom here, I'm going to copy one of these line items text, not the background, just for consistency, and then I'm going to put it in caps. And make sure that it's aligned properly also. That should do. I'm just going to group up some of these and adjust the spacing a bit. So I'm going to go 50 pixels out from the top. And then for each of these line items, we're going to be 20 pixels out from the top of the starter in 19 months. And then as for the button, I'm going to try 20 out from the list and then center that and see how it looks. It does look a little, a little long, so I'm just going to play around with the spacing. I think I'm going to make the height of the card a bit smaller so it fits nicely. I think that's looking pretty good. So I'm going to pop that in the group now and I'm going to copy and paste this out two more times so we have three cards. Just making sure that there's a 50 pixel gap. And then again I'll pop all of these cards in a group and then just hold them to the line to make sure they're aligned to the artboard. Now we had a 50 pixel gap from the header nav so I'm going to make sure the cards also have a 50 pixel gap. Now I'm going to get set on changing the content of all the cards. So I'm going to skip ahead here because you can make the content whatever you want in those cards. The important part is that you just do differ. Now for the middle card, this is the card I want to make clear to the user that this is the one we want them to sign up to. So I'm going to add a little purple shadow on it and also a purple border so that you can see it kind of pops off the page a bit. And I want to add a little star and a recommended stamp per se so that the user knows again. This is the one we want to do. I'm just going to add that star like so, and then also add a little label that says recommended in a small font so that you can grab too much attention. Put it in a nice orange and yellow. Space it out. And then I'm just going to pop it into a group and make sure it's aligned with the rest of them. And in a nutshell, there's your, there's your pricing page. So you can see it's nice, clean, and crisp. So thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe. Cheers.